Now look into the question answers. Okay. What did Auntie Polly ask Tom to do? What did Auntie Polly ask Tom to do? Yes. Auntie Polly asked Tom to paint the fence. Aunt Polly. Okay. A-U-N-T is aunt. And when you write Polly because it is a proper noun, you use capital letter. Even for Tom, you have to write capital letter because it's a proper noun. Then at the end of the sentence, you need to put a full stop. We just read once again. What did Aunt Polly, Polly, nice name, no? Aunt Polly asked Tom to do. Aunt Polly asked Tom to paint the fence. So, begin with capital letter for Aunt's name, Polly, it's a proper noun. So, proper noun we use, capital letter. Tom also is a proper noun. So, we use capital letter. And at the end of the sentence, what do we do? Yes, we put a full stop. Okay, second question. What did Ben want to give Tom? Not what did, I made a mistake. Why? Why did Ben want to give Tom his apple? You know what happened, no? Tom was painting and Ben was coming with an apple in his hand and he also asked him, let's go for a swim. Then he said, no, I'm painting, I cannot come. Why? Because Tom actually wanted the apple, that is right. Okay, leave all the alone. Let's just read the answer. Ben wanted to give Tom his apple so that Tom would let him paint the fence. In this sentence, in three places there are proper nouns. One is Ben, Tom and Tom has been repeated again. So all those places you need to write capital letter. Ben wanted to give Tom his apple so that Tom would let him paint the fence. Yes. So Ben wanted to give the apple because the reason is why? Yes. So if you give the apple, what will happen? Yes, then Tom will allow Ben to paint the fence. Once more we'll read. Ben wanted to give Tom his apple so that Tom would let him paint the fence. The third question. Why did the boys want to paint the fence? What is the reason they wanted to paint the fence? Yes. When the two boys saw Ben happy while painting the fence, there is a comma, the boys also wanted to paint the fence. They found so the boys were very joyful, very happy. They were very cheerful as they were painting the fence. So they thought painting is such a fun and they also wanted to paint the fence. So boys were also wanting to paint the fence. Why did the boys want to paint the fence? When the two boys saw Ben happy while painting the fence. What is it? While painting means at the time when Ben was painting, he was looking very happy. The boys also wanted to paint the fence. Okay? So what is the spelling of painting paint plus ing painting p a i n t i n g painting how do you spell while w h i l e while all the other spellings you know isn't it fence you know fen f e n fen and s c e f e n c e fence now we are moving on to the fourth question what did the two boys want to give tom what did they want to give Tom? What did they have with them? Yes, the two boys had marbles and kite. The two boys wanted to give Tom some marbles and a kite. So here again, Tom is a proper noun. You have to use capital letter. Isn't it? Yes. So that is all for question answers. Very simple it is. So revise properly. Now let's move on to the 
exercises we just listen is enough what is the adverb of smart adverb of smart smartly with the word smart with the verb you add ly then it turns to adverb neat neatly sweet sweetly slow slowly soft softly bitter bitterly proud proudly clever cleverly happy happily okay there a slight change of spelling will be there it's a p p i l y happily okay right so prepositions of course you know the yes where a an object or a thing is in which place now if the now the clip is what is this clip what is this book now this object is going to be on this so what is the proposition yes the clip is on the book the clip is on the book now where is the clip yes the clip is in the book now the clip is over the book isn't it the clip is over the book so that is propositions okay now where the pencil is the pencil is in my hand in see i'm holding it in my hand now where the pencil is yes it is above the head see over above all this you should know correctly all right okay now yeah get this in this there is propositions given here see the bird is flying what is it above the head see see the difference above over all this you should know the bird is flying above just just on top yes now what is the next one yes reshma is hiding see where reshma is hiding behind means at the back at the back of the back of what back of the tree okay now jumble words what is jumble words here yeah, the words which are not written in the correct order that is called jumble word one minute just wanted to show you jumble words now look at this i have written here o c w can you read this o c w no so you have to correct it how do you correct it which is the first letter you should use the yes first you will write c o w then you get the correct word and you can read that cow isn't it yes you can now read it now same way K U K C D. Can you read this? U K C D. So how do you arrange this? Yes, D U C K. You will write it as D U C K. So this is how you do the jumble word. So in the evening, I'll give you a test paper. Okay. So just go through all this, right?